this is Jack B for Pizza TV. Pizza selfies. Is there anyone who doesn't enjoy sharing a frame with a beautiful slice of pizza? Okay, okay, bring that one back. This handsome young castaway is Phil Duncan, a British pizza fanatic who lives in Seattle. Phil enjoys nothing more than globetrotting and posing for pizza pics. Phil told the culture and entertainment website Mashable, I noticed that my friends were liking my pizza photos a lot more than just general pics. So I just continued to showcase all the pizza I was eating and all the countries I've been to. Turns out Phil and pizza have been photographed together more than Brad and Angelina. Except Phil's even better looking than Brad and won't be splitting up with his true love anytime soon. Phil says, I have always loved pizza. I have even eaten pizza for my Christmas dinner since I can remember. Well, we love you too, Phil. Who doesn't like to get up close and personal with a hot hunk of pizza? Uh, our own Brian Hernandez, a pizza chef himself, agrees. Yeah, baby, talk to me, talk to me. Put that pizza where I can see it. That's right, yeah, yeah. Well, the most divisive election ever is finally over. Aren't you glad? But one Dallas pizzeria did their part to lighten the political mood. Connor Rosso ran a political pizza promotion just for election day. We call it the good, the bad, and the nasty. Connor Rosso owner Jay Jarrier offered two unique candidate-inspired specialty pizzas. The Trump tribute Bad Ombre and Clinton-inspired Nasty Woman put smiles on the faces of scowling partisans from both sides of the aisle. I mean restaurant. Bad Ombre. Featured smoked brisket, queso, jalapenos, caramelized onions, and house-made mozzarella. The nasty woman piled on the caramelized pineapple, jalapenos, prosciutto, bacon marmalade, and mozzarella. Yum! So what's so nasty about the nasty woman? Blame it on a side of ranch dressing. That's a condiment which Jerrier has humorously mocked and refused to serve for years. Ranch eaters, this is your one day, Jerrier declared on Connie Rosa's Facebook page. So which pie got the most votes? Jerrier listed the results in a late night Facebook post. Just like the actual election, Trump's bad ombre carried the night with 164 purchases compared to 134 for Clinton's nasty woman. We've got a winner, Pizza Nation. Love it or hate it, it's time to come together. Until next time, I'm Jack B for Pizza TV.